Hey everybody, Jay here from Modern Mississauga and we are with the all new 2018 Nissan LEAF electric vehicle and a lot of changes overall and most notably it's the range that's gone up and people are really looking to get more out of their electric vehicles. So this one, the 2018 fully redesigned, uh, 242 kilometers of range in ideal situations. We'll get more into that actual part uh, a little later on in the video. Uh, but there's a good profile of it, and it's much more aerodynamic than the outgoing model. Uh, I think it looks a little better as well. 17-inch wheels, uh, nice chrome door handles. This is the SV trim, so it's their middle-of-the-road one. Um, you still get plenty of good uh, features and options uh, included on the SV trim. Um, we'll get into that also on the interior side. Uh, nice boomerang uh, tail lights here. You'll see that um, on a lot of Nissan vehicles as well. And uh, let's just go back to the rear look. And there's the leaf on the left side, zero emissions badging on the right, SV on the bottom right. Uh, cool little blue um, uh, accent on the rear. It looks very nice. I like the rims, traditional five spokes. I've always kind of been a fan of the traditional stuff, not the overly complicated stuff. So yeah, that's the uh, passenger side. And what I want to do is quickly run around the front. So you have your LEDs, LED day runners as well. You got your fog lights. Those are not on at the moment. But this is your charging port. And I'm going to quickly uh, jump into the front driver's seat, I guess as opposed to the rear driver's seat. <laughs> Anyway, so let's just do that and I will open this up. Open this up. There you go. So there are your two charging ports right there. So very, very cool Nissan. Well done. And it's nice that it just kind of tucks away in the front and it's not this huge, massive door. Um, and you can't really notice it too much, you know, from a distance. Uh, just like it's, look, yeah, it looks like it's part of the car's design. Uh, anyways, uh, that'll wrap up the outside. Um, really all the big stuff's on the inside. So 2018 Nissan Leaf all new, 2018 Nissan Leaf all new, uh, redesigned all the way throughout. And uh, we'll be right back with a look at the inside. All right, back with an inside look at the 2018 all new Nissan Leaf. Let's start in the trunk. So one touch button, now it needs a bit of a push, it's not automatic. So in here you're looking at a total of 849 liters of cargo space. Sorry, that little cover is there, but there's a better look at it. Uh, you put the seats up and that shrinks to 668. So there's your charger. Uh, there's a case for it, which is in my garage right now. Um, anyway, so that plugs into the uh, front of the car and that plugs into your uh, your wall outlet. Uh, there's also a level two charger. I don't think I can do it with one hand. Uh, can I, can I one handed maybe? Uh, come on, come on. No, anyways, uh, level two charger in there as well. So let's close her up. Uh, I'll show you what the back seats look like and a couple of cool things. Uh, so it doesn't quite, it folds flat, but high flat. So you can see that's how high it is with the seats down and that's how much lower it is. Um, there's a good look at it. So anyways, we'll put the seat up. So I, th I think the headrest out on purpose just so I get a clearer look at the rear. Uh, the heated seat button is right there. And that's kind of interesting because it's either both heated seats on or none. Um, I don't see another heated seat option and there's nothing here because the battery lays flat along the bottom, gives you better stability, better, um, uh, better, uh, yeah, sorry, better stability. Let's keep it at that. <laughs> Lost my train of thought for a sec. So not a bad looking uh, rear seat, They're fairly comfortable, you know, except for, um, well, you know, that poor person in the middle, but that's okay. So cool uh, little pattern on the seats right there as well. Uh, again, you fit three people. The middle person does not get a headrest. Uh, it's only the left side and the right side. Pulling your seats down very easy. Uh, typical Nissan, nice and easy like that. There's a look at the front of the vehicle. Uh, before we jump in, just wanted to give you a quick look at what it looks like from the rear seats. And with that, let's jump in to the front and do some digging. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, it's a little warm. Uh, it is the 3rd of September. Um, so I'm gonna start the car and put the air conditioning on. So the start button's down here, foot in the brake. And of course you're not gonna hear anything. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do that one more time because there's a cool graphic I wanna show you. So foot in the brake. That's kinda cool, Nissan. Well done. Uh, some safety stuff. So I'm uh, again, I'm a little hot in the car, so I am going to put the air conditioning on. 
that and AC and I'm going to crank the heat all the way down to 18 or cooling down to 18. Uh, where Nissan only goes to 18 where there's some car for some other cars so I get down to 16 or 15. Anyway, seven inch touchscreen uh, with navigation, easy to use, typical Nissan, everything is well laid out. You got your dials, you got your buttons and your touchscreen blend right there. Uh, cool pattern here uh, on the HVAC controls. Um, I kind of like it. Uh, you don't really notice it much at night, more of a daytime thing. Uh, but again, very, very kind of cool and quirky and futuristic-esque. I lost my sheet of paper with my notes on it. Uh, where did that go? Anyways, uh, I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. You know what? I'm gonna look for it right now. Oh, I found it. Never mind. False alarm. Everything's okay. Start stop button, USB, heated front seats, two stages. Uh, same thing with the rear. I got your high and low, and uh, another little outlet there. Little uh, dipped uh, little piece of storage there. Um, whether it's change or your phone or whatever it is, that's what that is. Here is the kind of part that's a little weird for me. So there's your eco mode. Um, takes it from really quick to a little pulled back. E-pedal, uh, we'll do that in the driving portion. Basically that's one pedal driving where you pull your foot off the uh, throttle and the car pretty much slows right down for you. Uh, Nissan specifically calls this type of gear shift there. Uh, where did I write it down? Palm shift drive selector. So right now I'm in park. And there is a P right there. The E-pedal is off. Uh, it's a little too cold now. Bring that down. Anyway, so what you do is you shift to the left, and then you go up. And that gets you in reverse. And there. And there is your backup camera monitor right there. And then if you want to go into drive, you go to the left, and you push it down. And that gets you into D for drive. Now... The outline is there as well in case you ever forget, And but if you're buying the car, you probably won't forget. So it also always defaults back to um, right. So you swing it to the left, oops, uh, and that's B, uh, D and B, D slash B. Um, B is the regen braking drive mode. Um, basically just when you put the brakes on, it uh, regenerates even more power. Um, and obviously you push down to get the car back into park. Um, weird, maybe I'm old and stuck in my ways, but I guess what they want you to do is kind of just put your palm on it like that. Up one for reverse, like that. Over and down, gets you into drive. Sorry, you don't need to see my legs, <laughs> that's okay. And park. So a little weird, uh, space saver for sure, and that's just how it is. Um, some like it, some don't like it, eh, I'm kind of on the fence on it. There's another kind of parking brake. There are your cup holders. Let's turn things around. Tiny little space here for storage. And uh, you got your glove box over there as well. Uh, steering wheel, nice flat bottom, easy ingress, egress. Uh, everything you need is here. Thankfully, volumes are on the correct side. There is a way to change whatever you want to see. Let me get the glare out of there. There we go. Uh, so that's how much mileage I have left, and that's my power um, display right there. So the harder I press the pedal, faster the car goes, more power gets used. Uh, this is my charging time. So I'm at about 20, 33% to be exact. Um, just kind of, that's your battery meter right there. Um, that's my times uh, estimated to get to where I need to as far as getting a full battery goes. And battery temperature, battery capacity, and the power store back to where we started from. So whatever you want to do, uh, you set your settings to that. So half of it is digital and the actual speedometer is analog. Kind of like it, really cool, nice and easy to read. Very, very happy with that. Uh, safety features we'll go over in the driving portion. Uh, 110 kilowatt motor, 40 uh, kilowatt per hour lithium ion battery is what powers the vehicle. Again, it's got uh, 240, sorry, 147 uh, horsepower and 236 pound-feet of torque. Uh, level one, level two chargers included. Uh, whenever the cargo space, uh, Pro Pilot Assist, one touch button, very, very cool. Um, and that gives you uh, steering assist, intelligent cruise, automatic braking. Uh, you can maintain a set distance between the car in front of you, keeps you in your lanes, unless you get the wipers going on full blast because that kind of mucks around with the radar uh, and it won't work as well. But you know, it, we're still in the early phases of uh, semi autonomous driving, so it's as good as it's going to get for September 3rd of the year 2018. 
Uh, that's your seven inch touchscreen. We went over that. You got six speakers in this trim. I think you get five in the S and then seven in the top trim SL. Uh, we went over the drive selector, the B mode, uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in this specific trim and higher. Uh, 242 range. Uh, we did that. Uh, we'll go over the app in the driving portion. Uh, 7. Point hour, 7.5 hours to charge the vehicle in a level 2 charger. Not too bad. Uh, if you have one of those at work or you work close to a mall or a shopping center, um, just plug it in there and, uh, and you should be good by the end of your workday. Uh, battery is on the floor. Uh, we mentioned that. Uh, nice low, low center of gravity. More, uh, more better. Better handling. I can't believe I said more better. I just said it twice. Wow. Uh, we'll do the e-pedal, obviously, through the driving portion. Uh, one thing I want to show you, actually let you hear, I'm going to put the uh, audio um, HVAC stuff off. There's a plane coming. So I'm going to wait for that plane to go, and I'm going to roll the window down. So some of the complaints people have had about e, uh, EV vehicles, e vehicles, electric vehicles, wow, I'm not doing that great today, <laughs> are that you can't hear it when it backs up. So we're so used to hearing the engine go when you're backing up that it's a little weird and you don't hear anything. So I'm gonna put the car in reverse. Left. So there's some chimes. Hopefully you can hear that. I was quiet for a little a few seconds to see if you could hear it. But it lets people know who are walking behind you around you that yes there is some kind of chime something's happening and usually backup chimes are for or chimes on a vehicle are for when you back up like those big trucks anyways uh, i have talked a lot about the inside of the car it's great the seats are comfortable uh very smooth drive um nice fit and finish overall no sunroof because that makes weight and weight is the enemy of electric vehicles um all right so let me get my gopro set up and we'll be right back with the driving portion 2018 nissan leaf sv all new for 2018. all right we're back with the inside look at the 2018 nissan leaf sv pricing 39.898 there are no more rebates as you all know it is september 3rd as i mentioned before and um yeah uh let's see how that plays out um, anyways, uh, moving on, a uh, ton of safety on the SV, intelligent emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, rear, uh, rear cross traffic alert, automatic high beams, lane keep assist, auto emergency braking, uh, and the pro pilot assist, which is that of the blue button, gets you the steering assist, intelligent cruise control, automatic brake, automatic braking, um, just great semi-autonomous uh, features here. Uh, all seats are heated except for that poor guy in the middle and the rear, but that's okay. Um, I think that's it as far as safety stuff goes that I wanted to go on. 7-inch screen, 6 speakers, uh, CarPlay, Android Auto included, 242 kilometers of range. There's a cool app that lets you check how much charge you have left in the car, progress of your charge if you're plugging it in and not close to your car. You can also start the car so you can pre-cool or pre-heat the car. Um, Alright, uh, I'm going to go and show you just how quick the car is. I am not in eco, the e-pedal is not on, just regular driving mode. Put the phone away. I'll count up my uh, my uh, kilometers per hour as we go. 20, 40, 60. That was really, really quick. And there is no fear of ever having issues on passing anyone, anything uh, in a uh, dangerous or potentially dangerous situation on the roads or the highways. Car drives actually incredibly well uh, for an electric vehicle. You know, it's not as as um, I guess not really all that different from the feel of an, a gasoline vehicle. Um, the ride quality is very, very smooth. You know, I'm not gonna go as far as saying it's a luxury feel, um, but for a non-luxury vehicle, it is probably one of the better drive quality, um, sorry, it has one of the better drive qualities that I've, uh, I've experienced. So I'm gonna put the Eco on, and basically that's like Eco in any car. It just slow, not slows it down, but um, it reduces um, how fast you can accelerate and um, really eco-minded. So instead of saving fuel, you're saving, ba you're saving, saving battery life here. Um, you know, I found myself living in eco for most of the week. And yes, I popped eco off now and then, um, you know, getting on the highway, going around trucks and um, just kind of testing it out to see how quick and responsive it is. And in the normal driving mode, it is very quick, very responsive. Um, and you know, some people who you know don't mind losing a bit of battery percentage um, on a 
rig on a full charge, you know, live in the non-eco world as much as you want. Uh, so here's the interesting part that I found, found, found. <laughs> Um, and it's the uh, it's their e-pedal, which is to me the equivalent equivalent sorry of one pedal um, driving. And I'm just going to duck into a parking lot here uh, just to show you a, a, hopefully a thorough way of um, illustrating what the e-pedal slash one pedal does. So I'm here, and it's again parking lot, pretty safe, uh, not many people around. So e-pedal, you flick it on, just pull that toggle switch down, and basically it again acts as one pedal driving. So my left foot is, I'm gonna just check my camera because I'm stopped. Um, right, so I'm not, uh, there's my left foot, there's my, there it is, so now it's fully out of the way. And right now my right foot is on the pedal, and now it's off, so just that way you can kind of see what's on, what's off. So the car in drive with the e-pedal on, uh, basically it just, it, brakes for you and slows the car down. So right now I'm in drive, my foot's off the gas pedal and the car's not going because it's in brake mode. And yes, the brake lights go on as well. So it's kind of sensitive if it's your first time doing it and you kind of got to get used to it a little bit. Because right now I'm at 20 kilometers an hour, foot off and zero. Full stop, brakes on, and it just gives you a little more of that regen power. So I'm gonna do it again. Quick turn. So now I'm up to 40, foot off, 30, 20, 10, stopped. So it's kind of a cool thing. I'm not sure if you can see the left side of the screen, but that's my power, um, uh, power not power band, uh, my power monitor. So it's, uh, you know, the harder you push the pedal, the more uh, of the white bars you'll get uh, scooping around there. And again, with your foot off, it goes into the blue, and blue is your regenerative power. And depending on how hard you're braking and how intense it is, uh, that'll get you more power. So 30 kilometers an hour, foot off, zero, stopped. And the car's not gonna roll back because it's got the, um, that uh, the brake hold, or sorry, that uh, the hill hold, sorry, not brake hold. Again, dead stop, and we'll go out on the regular roads and get up to a little bit of a faster speed. Again, an eco, not quite as brisk as the non-eco world. So I'm at 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and stopped. So it takes a bit of getting used to, especially if you're doing like, you know, maybe getting into a parking spot uh, or, you know, it's stop and go traffic. Um, thankfully, again, the brake lights do go on, so it's not just a matter of the car slowing down. And if the brake lights didn't go on, there'd be a higher chance of someone hitting you, and that's just not good for anybody uh, at all. So, again, e-pedal on, 40, 30, and I'm gonna just put a little bit more pressure on, excuse me, and, we're back to regular driving feel. And you can always step on the brake too. Just because your e-pedal's on, doesn't mean the brake is deactivated. You know, it just, the car brakes for you, uh, regenerates power onto, into the battery. But if it's, you know, someone jumps out in front of you or just there's a car turning or whatever it is, um, you know, please, please, please step on the brake by all means. Um, you know, human control is still paramount uh, above anything else uh, for safety for a vehicle. Um, anyways, I'm just going to get up to speed again. So we're at 60, e-pedal on, and down to 50, and 40, 30, 20, and I'm just going to put my foot back on the gas just to kind of go around this turn here, uh, stop the car and wrap the video up. Uh, overall, 2018 Nissan Leaf is a wonderful vehicle, um, pretty well priced. Uh, the MTO site said you can run it for about, I think they said 78 cents a day um, on today's energy energy prices in Ontario. So about 30 bucks a month, uh, give or take. That's, you know, a tank of gas runs you like 50 or 60 on average. So if you can live off electricity, by all means, seriously consider uh, the 2018 Nissan Leaf. Uh, all right, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, let me know. I'll do my very best to answer them. Uh, over at seven minutes, let's wrap this up real quick. Thing and thank you so much for watching, everybody. And comments, questions are always welcomed. And we'll be back next time with something new and fun.